To set up a Word document in your Office 365, first go to the Office 365 account. Then you can click the plus sign to create a new document or the Word symbol. And then New Blank Document. You have to wait a moment for that to come up. And then for some reason when I start if I change the font first and then start typing, it changes it back. So I'm going to go ahead and put what you need here, which is your full name. Then you need your instructor's name. You need your class. And you need the due date of your assignment. And in MLA format, we use day, month, year, just like that. So uh, don't do it the traditional way you're used to always do it that way. Now go ahead and highlight all of this. We're going to go ahead and change the font to 12 point times New Roman for every assignment you do in English class. 12 point times New Roman is the font. The spacing, which you will do in the upper right with the three dots, will always be, go to line spacing, it will always be two with no additional space between. So see that length there? Go back where you fix the line spacing, three dots, line spacing, and then see the bottom one says remove space after paragraph. If either of these says remove, I need to click it. So watch it shrink up when I click remove space. See, you get comments all the time from me saying remove space after paragraph. That's because you have a little extra line space that Word automatically adds, and that's incorrect for MLA format. So now you have your... Um, first page information is what I like to call it. It's your heading, not to be confused with the header, which is where you put the page numbers. That's in the very top, and it's indicated here, header. But we're really not going to click header when we format this. We're going to go to insert in the top left. And then instead of header and footer, we're going to page numbers. So click page numbers. Click the upper right page number and then type your last name and guess what word is going to do we're going to hit last name and space um, this little thing that you think is a hashtag actually stands for number and it's indicating that it's going to automatically change the numbers for us on every page so don't worry about that don't get rid of it because if you do it'll get rid of your page numbers you want your last name and page number so you want to also make sure that the font for everything and every assignment in English class is 12 point times New Roman. So by highlighting my last name and the page number symbol, I have taken care of that. Now when I click back down in the body of the paper and I'm no longer in the header, it will disappear and it's a little freaky, but it's still there. So we'll just trust that it's there. Then after I have made sure that my spacing and my font are correct in my heading, that first page information, always this information in this order. I'm going to click enter one time and for every assignment I ever do, I'm going to center a title and capitalize all the significant words of the title. So the way I center is I have to find the ribbon that gives me the centering option and that's the home ribbon. So if you lose something that you think you need up here, uh, always try clicking back on home. That's our main ribbon where we work on things like font, that sort of thing. So center alignment is here and you will type the title and it will be a creative title, something terrific that will make the reader want to read your work and capitalize always the first and last words and all the significant words in between of the title. Do not make the title big. Do not make the title bold. Do not underline it. Do not put quotation marks around it. Um, your title is not the title of a published work, so we don't need the italics or quotation marks or anything like that. And it should be 12 point times New Roman. I did not add any space, no extra line spaces between my title and the heading, and I will not add any extra space between the title and the essay itself. So I just hit enter one time, 
I am centered and I don't want my whole essay centered so I go back to the left and then to start typing I need to indent every paragraph so I'll click tab first paragraph I'll start there so then when I have written my whole essay and I want to do the work cited I will go back to insert I'm gonna make a new page for the work cited I will click page break I will go back to the home tab because I don't see my centering function here and I'm going to center the words works cited notice that both are capitalized works and cited if I'm only citing one source then the works becomes work it is no longer plural most of our essays will require you to use more than one source though so most of your essay works cited pages will be works plural with the s works cited hit enter one time then go back to the left justification here and then you are going to start with the author's last name and the author's first name period when you do the work cited and then the article title or chapter title will go in quotation marks with a period inside the quotation marks here if there is no author name then skip that part and start with the article title just don't ever start um, your works cited sources with the publisher because that's not what comes next um, after you have the article title you will have the website title in italics um, this is our most common source in English 101 because we often use online sources with our wonderful online library resources so after the article title in quotation marks the website title is in italics actually followed by a comma then I don't want the rest of the work cited source to be in italics so I get rid of the italics which I did up here at the little I and you will then give the name of the publisher or sponsor not in italics then a comma then the date and then the URL which will be whatever is up here um, this is a crazy thing to copy and paste but just copy and paste your URL using the URL that's this long even though this is not an official work cited helps me to show you how to do the hanging indent so if you have all of this lined up straight you don't want it that way you want a hanging indent so highlight that source go back where you did the line spacing and instead of line spacing go to the special indent and then click hanging and then you have the hanging indent always end each source citation with a period then click enter and you'll have your new one uh, your space for your new one so if I had a source that started with let's say um, Beck was the name of my source my second source was the last name Beck Beck comes before last alphabetically or B comes before L so I would need to make sure I always have my sources in alphabetical order so I would remove that and then make sure they're in alphabetical order not in the order that they appear in the essay so when you finish formatting and typing your essay you always want to download a copy to your computer so click file you can't just share a copy you can't just hit the share button wherever that is I cannot open that so you can't just go to share that doesn't work you have to upload it to blackboard correctly so click file save as download a copy um, preferably the word document but if you are using a Mac you may have to use the PDF document either one of these can be opened in blackboard something saved as dot pages Mac users I cannot open that unless you buy me a Mac which you know would be so cool but don't don't buy me a Mac but I don't have a Mac so I can't open your document that way then you have to click download a copy again like you really meant it 
and then you'll go to the content where you needed to upload something. It's always going to be a colored link. It may be blue, it may be green, it may be red. Click that link. Look at the rubric every time you have an assignment just to make any last minute revisions. There's still time to get out and make revisions after you read the rubric. You are in college, so you are expected to read things that are long. Here's a long rubric. Read it. Make revisions before you upload. Then when you're ready to upload your document, I did not save mine as something great, but it saved as something I can recognize, which is fine. I don't have to have a particular name on the saved document. As long as you can find it again, you can just drag it up here to this. You can always also click Browse Local Files and you can see that you saved it here on this PC. You saved it as Document 50 so you could open it. So see I have two attached files. So um, make sure though that you are uploading the correct thing. Click Submit. Um, oh it's not going to let me upload the exact same one so I'm going to delete one. Do not attach that one and then click Submit. Make sure that you are seeing what you think you should see. Now I'm not in student mode. I should have gone to student mode first. It would let me see that, but there's another video that demonstrates that and I'll put it in the end screen so you can watch how that works. All right, let me know if you have questions about formatting. Um, pause the video and do the formatting with me. So like when I'm doing page numbers, you pause and do each step of the page numbers. When I'm doing the heading, you pause and do each step of the heading. Same for Works Cited. Um, all of it, the centering, the spacing, every little bit matters for formatting. So don't lose points on formatting just because you're not paying attention to the details. Paying attention to details is super important um, for all career fields. So. Um, we want to make sure that we have good practice in college, paying attention to details and following directions. English class is surprisingly a good place to practice those skills.